So now in this video we improved the comparator circuit. It's the non-inverting comparator. We're using an op amp though, but in case we set a reference voltage of 2.5 volts. As long as enough light is falling on the light dependent resistor, it has a higher voltage at the non-inverting input. I can turn the lamp off there and I can also dim the lamp. There we go, I dimmed it down a little. It was dark enough to set the output low. Now it's bright enough to hold the output high, unless my finger covers it. So we'll take a closer look over here. So we have the LM358. There's two op amps on there. We're only using one of the two. The uh, left side, pin one starts at the top left, works its way down to four, jump across to five, work your way up to eight. So I got the pin numbers uh, on there. B Pay close attention though, whenever using an op amp or comparator, where the plus, the uh, non-inverting, and the minus, the inverting are. I swapped where they are in relationship to the integrated circuit right there. So we have uh, pin number three down here, the uh, non-inverting input, and then pin number two, the inverting input below it in this case. So we set half of the supply voltage with uh, fixed resistors there. Current doesn't go in or out of either of these inputs. It just looks at voltage. That's all it does. So we'll have half of the supply voltage as a signal. Uh, when light's falling on the light dependent resistor, enough light uh, that it drops below 3000 ohms of resistance, it will raise the voltage above 2.5 volts and we'll have a high output. It will be uh, not five volts because we got a couple diodes that drop about a volt and a half. So probably three and a half volts. It's a single supply op amp, but the red LED will light up. That's enough. Now, when it gets uh, dark enough, then the resistance goes above 3000 ohms. Um, we can adjust the sensitivity with that resistor, but in case it gets dark enough and then it will drop below 2.5 volts, that'll be a lower voltage than what we set there. So we'll have a low output and the blue LED will light up. It connects to ground pretty well. You can pretty much consider it a direct connection to ground.